हेलो स्टूडेंट्स अगेन आई वेलकम यू ऑल फॉर द सेकेंड लेक्चर ऑफ प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ मेंडेलियन इनहेरिटेंस एंड जीन इंटरेक्शंस वी आर नाउ फैमिलियर विद द डिफरेंट टर्म्स व्हिच वी आर यूजिंग कॉमनली फॉर द डिफरेंट मोनोहाइब्रिड एज वेल एज द डायहाइब्रिड क्रॉस देन chi square test and the probability again these tests are of importance for genetical studies chi square test is again one of the aim of breeding experiment where the study of nature of inheritance of one or more qualitative characters in plant are studied where we have to select the ratio which suitable for absurd values but the deviation and variations are getting with respect to the observed and expected value is high and to carry out or to calculate this deviation or variation a statistical method that is a chi square test which is denoted by the letter x is used to find out the goodness of a fit whether these deviations are significant or not an objective is whether observed data agree with the expected one this is the formula for the chi square test as i told you this is denoted by the letter x which is nothing but the ratio of summation of observed frequency minus expected frequency it square which is divided by expected frequency and when we put the values of observed frequencies and expected frequency in the formula if the calculated value is less than the tabular value then the differences are considered significantly smaller and this is nothing but the the fit is good when the calculated value is greater than the tabular value then the differences are considered as significantly greater and this is the fit is not good this test is always considered as a 5% or 10% level of significance for goodness of fit there is one table where we are going to relate or compare the calculated value with the tabular values so with this chi square test it is easy to identify whether the deviation which we are observing with respect to observed and the expected values is significant or not here is one example for your study in f2 generation the mendel obtained 621 tall plants and 187 dwarf plant out of 808 plants then with the help of chi square test we have to analyze either the Mon mendel's monohybrid ratio which is 3 as to 1 it it fits to this experiment or not so first we have to consider null hypothesis that the tall and dwarf plants are segregating in 3 as to 1 ratio that means this ratio it fits to this experiment okay then we have to go for the table and here the tall plants and dwarf plants and total plant so observed values we are uh, getting over here we know that are the tall plants the 621 plants we have Uh, here 
in we have get in this figure or the example and door plant these are the 187 then the expected frequency what will be the expected frequency as this ratio is 3 as to 1 so the plants as per the expected frequency the plant should be 606 expected and uh, these are the tall plants and 202 these are the dwarf plants are expected obviously the total is 808 then the deviation is calculated by subtracting these values so by subtracting the 621 which is observed tall plant frequency and expected that is 606 so deviation is 15 and here for the tall, tall plant again we are getting that is uh, that is 15 okay so by applying formula that is chi square as in previous slide we have studied this formula it is summation of uh, observed frequencies minus expected frequency it's square divided by the expected frequency so we have received the deviation that is 15 for the tall plants and minus 15 for the tall plants okay so it's square divided by the plants which are observed for the sorry which are expected for the tall plants and the tall plant like this is the second uh, row then by calculating or putting the values we will get chi square value that is 1.4852 okay so this value we will uh, receive so this calculated this is the calculated value that is 1.4852 and when we compare this value with the tabulated value and this tabulated value at 5% level of a significance and this is 3.84 for degree of freedom 1 why the degree of freedom is 1 because degree of freedom is nothing but the n minus 1 so we have considered the two phenotypes tall and dwarf so n is 2 minus 1 that is 1 so for 1 degree of freedom at 5 percent level of significance this value is 3.84 okay so, this hypothesis is true because the difference between observed and expected frequencies is not significant. And whatever the null hypothesis, we have considered that they are segregating in 3 as to 1 ratio is true. And that is why the results of two groups of plants are in agreement with the theoretical ratio of 3 as to 1. So this is one example that gives you idea how the observed values and expected values when they are uh, calculated by using formula and compared with the tabular value we can conclude whether this test uh, fits good or not. So this is again another example that is for the dihybrid ratio here the same uh, observations are given that is uh, for uh, tall plants the different plants observed that are the 891 316 290 119 and the total observed plants are the 1616 we have to calculate expected frequency so here expected frequency how it is going to be calculated by again using the formula so here nine plants which are the round yellow and total are the 16 and here total number of observed plants are the 1616 so by uh, using these values we will get this type of uh, uh, 901 round yellow uh, wrinkled and yellow that is they are the 303 round and green 303 wrinkled and green 101 so these are the calculated values and the given values in the uh, example they are the observed values okay now 
the next step is to again go for the deviation as we have done in the monohybrid ratio also so observed values for the round yellow wrinkled yellow round green then wrinkled green they are given over here again the same uh, step that we have to uh, subtract the observed frequency and the expected frequency and here again we are getting this type of uh, uh, figures that are for the deviation like minus 18 for round yellow 13 minus 13 and 18 similarly again by putting these into the this formula we will get this type of uh, answers and the chi square is value is 4 4.6799 this is again a calculated sky square value and when we are going to consider or we are going to compare this value with the tabulated value at 5% level of significance. Again here one question that degree of freedom. What will be the degree of freedom as here we are considering the 4 characters. So 4 minus 1. We know that this degree of freedom is nothing but the n minus 1. So here we are having the 4 character 4 minus 1. So degree of freedom is 3. Okay. So, for 3 degree of freedom at 5% level of significance, the value is 7.80. What we have observed that this shows that calculated value is less than the tabular value. We know this is a calculated value that is 4.67. And the tabular value that is 7.80. Okay. Obviously, this is less than the calculated value. So, the difference between the observed and expected frequency is not significant. Hence, the null hypothesis stated that observed and expected frequencies have no difference may be true and it can be accepted because the value is less than the tabular value another test which is used for a genetical study that is a probability we know the meaning of the term that is probability when we are going to do any work we are uh, assuming the probabilities means it is nothing but the measure of relative chance of occurrence this is among set of alternative if n are the ways in which event can be happen and the n that is number of ways in which desired event can occur that is small n. here that is a small n okay so probability is nothing but the p it is denoted by letter p and here the small n that is number of ways in which desired event can occur it is divided by the ways in which event can be happen and this is nothing but the relative chance but here the value does not exceeds one okay and it should be between 0 and 1. So, these are the two tests that are most commonly used for the study of uh, or the or doing the experiments which are related to the genetics and the plant budding. So, we will stop here and again meet in the next lecture for the gene interaction. Thank you.